Okay, that worked pretty well. That worked pretty well too, cool. And yeah, I guess those guys could just go on there like that. I'm glad it fit. I was a little worried it wouldn't for a second there. So I've got these uh, ratcheting crimp tool things. This is, this is the, the crimp tool that uh, the, the people selling the Anderson connectors on uh, Amazon recommends. Uh, it's a little more expensive than the one that's a little bit more popular, but I figure if they recommend it, it's probably pretty good. I, I like to buy quality tools. Um, the poor man pays twice, they say. Usually, usually that's accurate. So the way these work is they, uh, they ratchet down and then you squeeze them a little further and they release. So let's see. I'm really not sure how this works, but I think let's try the 45 first. I think the doohickey just goes in there and then you just crimp down on it. Let's see if that worked. No, not a very tight fit. Let's try that again. We'll try the 30 this time. So I'm just sliding that into the slot and then That's a nice fit. That's good. Okay. Now, unfortunately, okay, yeah, I think this was the red. <laughs> I'm going off of memory here. Uh, no, okay, yes, it's definitely the red because it's the one that has the, uh, the white stripe on it. So that's good. All right, so we'll... There we go. Nice solid connection. All right. And we'll do the second one. I think I had that last one pointed down, so I'll try to do the same thing. It's got this little profile on the side. I'll just try to point that down, because I think that's what I did with the last one. I'm trying to get all these wires in there, man. You know? Don't want to waste any. It's good copper. There we go. Got them all. All right. And again, I'm going into the 30 port. There's a little, there's a little hole down there at the bottom, and I'm just putting the, the thin part of the adapter into the hole. And then once it's in there, I just clamp down. It requires a little bit of, you know, arm strength, hand strength, whatever. Give it a little tug. Seems like it's in there pretty well. All right, and then... It's hard to see in these connectors. You probably can't see in there. But there's a little metal strip. And I think what, I think what you do is the metal strip goes on the bottom of this profile. So there's a little arch here. The metal strip goes on the bottom, okay? So I'm just looking in there, I'm going to line it up, and I just do a little wiggle wiggle thing. I'm kind of giving it a little bit of pressure as I wiggle it, and it clicks into place. And then, let me see, do these guys slide together? I think they snap together or something. I don't really know. Yeah, they slide lock. Cool. Cool. So if I have that polarity wrong, I don't know if red goes on the right or the left, but if I have that polarity wrong, I can just slide it back out and re reattach it on the other side. So that's pretty cool.